Hey Minecraft dude and block builder fan girls. Yes, I'm talking to you guys. Welcome back to another Lego Minecraft uh, review. And guys, this time we have the farm. It's 2114. It's ages eight plus, but who the crap looks at that? Um, it's got 262 pieces and I'm pretty sure it retails at either $25 or $30. The official price is in the link uh, is in the description below. So you want to check that out. It's right there. Um, so this looks actually like a really exciting set guys. I am so pumped up for that pumpkin. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really crappy pun that I think about it. I'm so sorry guys. I don't know why I said that. Anyhow, um, really cool figures with this, guys. We got the sheep, the cow, the skeleton. That's pretty cool. And of course, Steve, we get him in a lot. Um, it's kind of your basic farm, uh, so I like that. So it's like you're starting your first farm in, in, uh, in Minecraft. We all know how fun that is. Um, we all know how we have to go to the wiki or watch YouTube videos to figure all of that stuff out. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. And I am, I'm so pumped up to, to build this set, so let's just get the scissors and open this bad boy right here. Um, so we're just gonna open both of those. There's always two stickers, or two um, uh, I don't know, pieces of tape holding the set. Alright, um, so here we go. Not surprised, numbered bags again, but, uh, oh wow, um, this is pretty cool. Uh, don't don't really see big plates like this in, uh, in these type of Lego sets. Um, you also get uh, apparently one in green and one blue. That's really cool. Um, instruction booklet, pretty pretty heavy, not not as thick as the, uh, the first night, but definitely a pretty hefty book. Um, looks fun. Uh, looks like a good set, you know. This is looking pretty good to me. This is the big surprise: is is getting the. This is a yeah, this is a 16 by 16 stud uh, plate. There's my Lego nerdiness getting into me. Uh, but yes, yeah, so this is this is something you don't see often in uh in in Lego sets actually, which is which may come as a surprise to a lot of you. So if this set is 30 bucks, which I think it is, this right here, this is a, this is a big piece. So that actually uh, puts the value up quite a bit on this set. All right, I want that pumpkin. Where, where, where is that pumpkin in here? Is it up oh, there? There's the pumpkin. I don't know if you guys can see a little orange dot right there. I, I'm excited to get that. Oh, you know, wow. Of course, they would make me wait till bag two to get the pumpkin. I see how it is, Lego. I see how it is. Let's get building, guys, right now. All right, guys, so here is the in-depth look in the studio of the farm. Um, so automatically you'll see it's a fairly big play set, but um, unlike the cave or the first night, it's kind of spread out more than it is detailed together. Um, and that's okay, because a lot of Minecraft actually looks like that in the game, so that doesn't really matter too much in, in this type of circumstance. Um, but here is Steve right here. He has a wooden shovel and not actually a hoe. Um, and that's kind of disappointing because he actually really needs the farm. Uh, I don't really like that. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and take a look at the minifigures before we get really dive too deep into the set. So let's go ahead and take a look at these awesome looking mobs. Let's go guys. Okay guys, so taking a look at the minifigures we get, the first one we have here is Steve, of course. Um, he's He's literally just like all the other Steves and all the other sets. Um, so nothing too different with Steve. He doesn't seem to change for some reason. Um, but yeah, and yeah, I, I really don't like how, how he doesn't have a hoe for farming. That, that should have been something you should have gotten in this set instead of a shovel. I, I would rather gotten a hoe than I would a shovel. Also, what would have been really funny is if they included a, a diamond hoe, because we all know the inside joke on that. Um, but yeah, so kind of disappointing we didn't get that, but either way, the shovel is quite nice for what it is. It's a bit large, actually, uh, but then again, all the all the Minecraft tools seem to be large, uh, the Lego version. 
Um, so next is actually probably my, one of my favorite figures of the set is indeed the skeleton. Love that face. He's just like, yep, I'm gonna kill you. Um, I don't know. You can just you can make all kind of uh, all kinds of different quotes with the skeleton. Um, I hate when he just randomly shoots you and it scares the crap out of you. We all know that experience. Um, then he has a brand new um, uh, bow and arrow. Um, that's really cool. Really like the way that looks. Um, his head is just like all the other, um, uh, like Steve's head and um, the zombie head. They look just like that. So, yo. And then the body is not new at all. It's been introduced in like uh, Ninjago Lego sets and, and other such things like that. So don't need to go too much into detail about that. And then my, definitely the coolest animals ever, the sheep and the cow. So the cow obviously is um, bigger than the sheep for logical reasons. We have the little pink brick under the cow you know this little udders it's quite cute um so here is the cow himself look at that face it's a face of gold god the way his eyes are mm. beautiful anyhow um so it definitely looks like a cow from the game <laughs> um just like all the other uh, animal mobs or even the spider um, they have like this type of head and like that. So, yup. Okay, I guess he cow his head back on. The sheep is a little bit smaller, a little bit more cuter, so it's kind of adorable. Um, and that face though, that face though, like look at that face. Oh my god, it's even it's even more precious than the cow or the pig. Like look at those eyes, like. I could, I could literally stare at those things. Here, here. Literally stare at those things all freaking day. God. That's beautiful. Anyhow, uh, so the sheep itself is really nice looking. I like the little build of it. And of course, has the type of head that looks like this. And you'll be able to put a diamond, hel diamond or armored uh, iron armor helmet whatever on either the cow or the sheep if you just you know want to do that type of thing <laughs> uh, so yeah really cool animals love the way they look um, so yeah really great figures for the farm um, but yeah so let's get back to the set guys okay guys so first of all um the farm itself is again pretty wide open like i was saying to you a couple minutes ago um some neat little things here we have the birch tree it's quite a nice little addition we have the sugar cane we have the carrots we have the wheat i think these could be carrots too don't know um watermelon or again car uh, carrots maybe um pumpkin and then uh, could be what another could be another pumpkin right here, um, or uh, it could be a watermelon that we just didn't get in the set. Um, we have two torches here. Love the pumpkin head. Like look at that, look at that head. That's just gorgeous. And what's awesome is we can put the pumpkin head on Steve. Look at that. How awesome is that, guys? That looks just awesome and you know what steve's head is going to be replaced by the pumpkin for the rest of this for the rest of the studio review we're we're gonna keep this head on deal with it um so we have some flowers as well um crafting table i'll show you guys that in case you didn't check out the other reviews so it's two-sided prints so, yeah, that's the crafting table. Also, we have again another chest right here with some bread in it, and then right here, I'll go ahead and zoom up a little bit on it. 
is the um, little fence area and there's a little gate that you can open up like that and you can let the animals loose. Yay! So animals can get loose. Now you'll also notice is the animals have specific little things that literally are perfect to connect them like that. Um, same with the cow. They're both um, these these things these tiles are spaced differently so that they can handle the cow or the sheep because they are different sizes. So yeah, it's pretty neat. I'll show you a different angle of that. See how that looks. So here's what the back looks like. And then we can actually, that's what the underside looks like. And uh, we can take a little bit of a closer look at all the stuff going on here. And you can see this water coming down right here. That looks awesome. Flows in right down here as well. see what that looks like. I am going to assume that's uh, some cobblestone maybe. Could be some other smooth stone. Um, the tree, that's what that looks like. It actually only has black bricks on one side of the tree. That's interesting to note. And I put the skeleton next to the tree because you know it's pretty bright out so we don't want the skeleton to die now. You know he's got to shoot his arrows at Pumpkin Steve here. Um, so that, you know, gotta keep him alive. We all want to, you know, have a skeleton alive now. Um, uh, but yeah, so really that's it to the farm, guys. It's more of an aesthetics thing, and as I'll mention later in this, in the final opinion, I think it's more of an optional set than it is a necessary set, because a lot of us don't necessarily farm when we're in Minecraft. You know, some of us hardcore guys and people who are trying to go to the end will definitely have a farm but some of us will usually skip over it because it's not necessarily uh something you just have to do um so yeah uh again i, I kind of wish i had that watermelon I, i'm i, I kind of want the watermelon right now uh you know we had the pumpkin or steve right now but uh i kind of wish we had the uh, watermelon like right here or something maybe May, this this is actually an extra plant right here. This is actually it was maybe this is supposed to be where the watermelon was supposed to go But I see how it is Lego don't make watermelons I see how it is Anyhow guys, um, that's pretty much it to the farm. It's a fairly simple set It's more of an aesthetics no features or anything. It's more of play around again the the key, you know here I'll actually show you guys you can actually separate the two like that um, it's actually fairly easy, so if you want to make it two separate things, you know, have your little animal get together over there and all of your farming stuff over here, and say you want to connect this part on one side of the house, uh, say you have the, um, the, the, the first night house, you want to have that over there and maybe that over there then you can definitely do that. So I like how that is. So you can you can change it up the way you want it to um, look like. So that's quite cool. And it's fairly simple to do that, by the way. Um, isn't that hard. But yeah, so that is the farm, guys. So let's get to the final opinion. All right, guys, I finally got the pumpkin. This freaking pumpkin head is awesome. Let's put them right on Steve because look how awesome that is. That's that's pure awesomeness. If awesomeness was a form of pureness. I don't even know what I just said there. Anyhow, that's just how excited I am over the, the pumpkin. Well, anyhow, uh, <laughs> repeating myself, the farm is pretty sweet, guys. So as we took a look at... Uh, as we looked at it in depth at the studio, um, definitely a lot of great things about it. Definitely, of course, the, the cow, the sheep, um, Steve with the wooden shovel. Although I, I, I kind of wish I got the hoe, you know, that it sounds kind of funny, but yeah, I kind of wish I got the wooden hoe uh, or a diamond hoe. Yeah, everybody knows that joke. Um, I, I love the skeleton, love his... Um, his uh his bow and arrow that looks great 
Um, but yeah, I guess that that's the one con to this set is it just doesn't come with the hoe. Um, and it's kind of a farming necessity as a lot of you uh, know. So I don't really understand. I, I, would, I would rather get the hoe than I would get the shovel. Um, my bad. <laughs> I always seem to make a fail somehow in one of these reviews. Um, you get a crafting table. Of course, you need one of those anytime you're near um, a farm because you're just going to be doing constant crafting. I like how you get the bread because, you know, you homegrown that wheat. Um, now, I don't know exactly what's going on here. I, th you know, I talked a little bit about this in the in-depth thing, but I think it's like either carrots or wheat. Um, then again, there's carrots right here, so I think this is wheat. Um, and then uh, you actually get an extra little plant thing. This little thing right here, you get a little extra one. Um, but I, I just added it in with the set. You get the sugar cane, that's really cool. Of course, you get the pumpkin. Um, kind of would have liked to get the watermelon. Maybe that's uh, for a future set. Um, you get a different colored flower. Uh, I know it really doesn't really make much sense, but yeah. And then it's not an oak tree, but a birch tree. So I'm so sorry for my mistake there. It's a birch tree. Um, and of course the skeleton, you know, he's got to hide under it. He can't be getting that sunlight now. Um, He's not that cool skeleton from, uh, from, um, what is it called? Uh, build, build, it's a, that's, it's that Minecraft animation series. Build bigger or something. I don't know. I don't know why I can't think of the name right now. Um, instruction booklet, just like, uh, the other two Minecraft sets I reviewed so far. Um, there's something at the end of it, um, where you can rebuild, uh, a part of the set and make it different. Um, this one is kind of funny. Um, it's like... It's like Steve, uh, it's like a diving board for Steve, so that's pretty neat. Uh, I think a, the Lego designers on the on these Minecraft sets have a lot of fun making this. Um, and you know, the set itself is really cool. And you know, now that I've built three, I've built half of the Minecraft sets, I, I they actually, I can see how they all interconnect. They all connect with each other. Like that's why you'll see like kind of like these things right here. I can see how they connect pretty easily. Now I think that's also because they want you to build, you know, buy your own bulk amount of Legos or buy more of these sets. Like they probably want you to actually really buy this set right here and um, build off on this stuff right here and you know build more. But also they connect to the other sets as well. So that's really cool. Um, but yes. Yeah, so a lot of cool things. Is this a necessary set? Probably not actually because the farm is something, uh, it is something, if, if, you, if you're going all the way to the, the nether, then, um, not the nether, the end, there we go. If you're going all the way to the end, um, then, which is the enderman world, um, then farming is, so, uh, uh, is, a, is something you really do need to do. But if you're playing Minecraft for fun, you don't necessarily grow a farm for fun. Unless you're just one of those type of people, you might be one of those type of people. So I'm not offending anybody who, who likes farming as much as I don't like farming. But it, you know, for those of you who do like farming, that's cool for you. But uh, I don't really like it as much. Um, but it still is a really cool set to get, no doubt. Um, and I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the only set you get the cow and the sheep in. Yep. This is the only uh, set you get these two in. So, Lego has made it so you pretty me uh, pretty much need to buy all of the Lego Minecraft sets this wave in order to have all the mobs, which is kind of a sneaky thing they're doing there. But you know, all these sets are really great, um, and that is the pros and cons. Again, the only con to this set, there's only one con again, is just that hoe. I kind of wish I got the hoe. A diamond hoe would have been really funny too. Um, but yeah, that's that's the only con to this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say great on the rating scale uh, for this set. Um, so that's really cool. Um, I love absolutely love how the water goes through here like that. You got the torches. I, I really like it. Looks nice. Um, definitely can build off this easily. Again, talking about that is the next review is on this crafting box right here. You can easily build off this farm with this right here. Um, and I'm looking forward to reviewing this. That that's gonna be a that's gonna be a fun fun build. Um, just building my own thing. That'll be interesting. Anyhow, guys. So yeah, these two these two figures are exclusive to this set. If you know, technically they're not figures. Well, the boxes are figures. Whatever. Whatever. Anyhow, who, who you know, they're figures. Yeah. Cool it, David. <laughs> uh, so yeah, 
great set guys probably not something you need to buy if you're getting if you if you have limited money this is probably something you can skip out on good price I think it's 30 bucks on um, the fact that you have this large plate I showed you at the beginning that's really cool I like that that's a neat little um, thing to add on I love the cow and the sheep I just think they look so adorable um, Steve again he gets Steve in all the sets so not surprised again I just want that diamond hoe that would have been cool uh, but yeah that's it guys um, the farm great set overall um, definitely not something you absolutely have to get but definitely a really great addition to your minecraft world um, and yeah so guys if you enjoyed this review give this video a big thumbs up um, you know if you thought my really stupid co comedy is sort of funny then I don't know if something's wrong with you because I don't think I'm funny anyhow um, yeah so definitely subscribe there's a subscribe button down below definitely actually click that button guys because again you want to see that crafting box review so you definitely want to hit that button because that's going to give you a feed of my videos on your home page of YouTube and I want you guys to definitely keep up to date all these reviews I'm going to be releasing over the next couple days and weeks so lots of awesome stuff coming so definitely hit that button I want to thank you guys so much again I'm getting so many positive reactions from um, doing these types of reviews this new setup and new new thing I got going on I can't I'm just I'm so pumped up with excitement guys I can't thank you guys enough all right you guys you minecrafters out there get crafting with real Legos not computer Legos you want to do the real thing now there's no excuses go buy some minecraft sets I'll see you guys later have a great and wonderful day bye bye